Hello. How many? Uh, hello. Okay. How, how many uh, white people you have spoken in Ghana? How many? Um, three. Yes. Three. Did you ask that white That's people where he coming from? Black. Uh, from Korea, Hong Kong. Okay. Okay. Hong Kong. Yeah. And how long he's been in Ghana? Um, I think he came last week. Uh huh. And did you ask yeah. him how many people he's been spoken? Um, he's been, he has trust in one shepherd. I get to me. Mm -hmm. The guy is a shepherd. And I think it's the guy who went to Hong Kong to bring him down. Mm -hmm. And he invited him down. And so he has trust in him to the extent that from my investigation, he has opened a joint account with the guy, which is worth, is it, I guess, $1.6 million. It's Ooh. not, it's not, uh, it's not like Ooh. small money I'm talking about. Here. Oh, that's a very dangerous. That's a very dangerous game. Very, and then very dangerous. The shipper has worn his trust. So the shipper is the one manipulating him. Well, tell that uh, Korean guy. He can go back, he can go to his bank because his bank manager will listen to him. That is very sure. bad. Advise the Korean, you help him, tell him, okay, Mr. Abaya, I want to help you. Recall your money. It doesn't matter if it's a joint account. He is a foreigner. He can complain that to the police and he can walk into sure. the bank and the bank will give his money. Because the bank knows that money coming from the foreigner. Mm -hmm. That one million point, uh, one point six million. That is a big money. By that, it's, uh, awesome. it's a lot, a lot of money. This is why when some people finish and then the transaction doesn't go correctly, when they see black people, they hate black people naturally. Well, what you have to do, you help him. Okay, just tell him, okay, I was talking to Mrs. Ford in Australia. And Mrs. Ford has been in sales for 36 years. And uh, okay. I, I feel sorry for that foreigner. Uh -huh. Tell him, okay, man, what is the name of that buyer? Sunny. Sunny. Tell Sunny, okay, Sunny. Yeah. You trust that, um, is he that guy from Ghana that he joined account? No. Yeah. The is guy it? from the, uh, from... Um, he is um, the guy from Ghana. Is called George. Is he really Ghanaian or from some part of Africa? He's he's really a Ghanaian. Okay, he's really he's a really a Ghanaian. Okay, so he can he can go to the lawyer, then tell the uh, tell help him, and so that the Ghana reputation would not be tarnished. Tell him, okay, I will help you. You find a good lawyer, so that the guy, the Korean guy, can withdraw back his money because that money doesn't belong to Ghanaian. So he opened a joint account. Tell him that he's no longer interested to be part of and he wanted his money. Then he can deposit, he can open the, the bank account into that particular buyer's account. He can deposit in the okay. uh, st um, Standard Bank. This is the um, Standard sure. Bank. It's a European bank. Yeah. Or he can open a standard yeah. charter bank. Mm -hmm. In his name. My God. So okay. Why did he transfer one mil one point six million? Why? I, I I don't know. I I actually I think it's because he has trust in him. My God. He thinks he is genuine. How did you meet this uh, foreigner? This uh, Korean guy. Actually, it was someone who introduced me to him. Wow. Yeah, it was oh someone who introduced me to him. I have tried my best. I, you know, um, there are some people, when they have trust in someone, that is it. No matter how much you try your best, they are still manipulating them. That is why... They are still manipulating uh, them. That is why I have my video. I uploaded it on YouTube. This is how you follow. You will never become dupe. Mm. Because gold is not cheap. Gold is premium. Sure. Gold is money. 
a foreigner come to Africa because they wanted to make gold into different uses like they can make into gold coins the money that you're using the gold coin is made yeah. of gold the spare parts on mobile phone there is gold laptop yeah. there is gold jewelry there is uh, to make it gold and they can refine it into 99.99 called gold volume yeah 98 in africa 98 percent gold coming from africa 98 percent but those are um, uh, small trader that guy he's a small trader and that a Ghanaian, he manipulate the foreigner my gosh that's a very dangerous that is why on my video i said to my video come with me i will guarantee you come to Conakry, Guinea. my trip and extra service every hotel accommodation spending money will be refunded when the buyer pay the gold he the the money that he spent for wilhelmina will be minus when he paid the gold that is my extra sure. service so that the buyer would not be scam mm. sure sure so you have been following me since last year is it yes please yes please my gosh thank you very much for finding me why you just come now why why you just come now i saw your video again this morning and because of the situation at hand this week I could never help it and I was like, let me talk to you and seek advice from you. Okay. All right. I have a seller in Ghana, but I punish them. Why? Some of the gold in Ghana are industrial. There's a huge chemical element. And when you refine okay. it, when you bring that to buyer's destination, the gold will shrink. That is the reason okay. why I have to be on the ground so that the seller can measure to smell dust gold into 1.2 grams in one bar. Because when the gold okay. will be re refined, the gold will shrink. They will remove shrink. the chemical component like magnesium, lead, silver, and zinc. In Conakry, the purity of the gold is 96.6% almost 24 carats and okay and we will give the buyer extra gram if the buyer will refine it into gold volume okay and our discount we will give the buyer discount based on the world market so you bring the buyer okay. on conference on skype tell him i want you okay. to to talk to Wilhelmina on skype together with you i will listen okay. to this problem I will listen okay. to his problem. You have to help okay. him to find a gold lawyer. You have sure. to. So that his 1.6 million would not be lost. Okay. So that, that foreigner will respect you instead. He will love you because he gonna you help him not to lose his 1.6 million dollars. Oh my gosh. Sure. My gosh, Alina Tolimana. Um, I really feel sad. My gosh. Mm. You search on on online, find the best lawyer. Yeah. Find the best lawyer okay. to help that Korean. Develop your friendship with Korean. Tell him, okay, okay, I will help you to get the gold. There is no gold in Ghana at the moment. There is none because gold is short supply in Ghana. So tell him okay. I can help you to get the gold in Conakry, Guinea. Uh -huh. Okay. And I, I want right. to meet him first so that I will arrange the landing visa or I can put him in Bamako, Mali. We have tons of gold, but we are not selling okay. cheap price. How much is this buyer looking for price? What price is looking for? I think um, he said he wanted um, one ton. Then they said they were going to give him, um, I think, um, is it 9% discount? Yeah. Yeah, we can give him 9%. 9 we can give him 10% instead. 10% uh, discount. Yeah, I can, yeah. yeah, we can give him. Yeah. We have tons of gold. G Ghana has no tons of gold. None whatsoever. You will never get gold. Yeah. Nah. We can break down. I can take him to Conakry, Guinea. He, he would be happy. He would be happy okay. if he follow our simple procedure. We can give him even 10%. Long term supply is that a long term one time? Yeah, 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 we can do that. 
I will take him to Conakry, Guinea, the land of plenty. Uh -huh. Okay. I will, send, I will send you the video. My seller's okay. gold tons, but do not, do not uh, give it to anyone. This is only for you. Right. You show it to the buyer. Show it to okay. your buyer. Okay, Mr. Buyer, this gold belong to Conakry, Guinea. Would you like to travel okay. tomorrow? Send his passport copy. I will arrange the landing visa. Okay. And he would be happy. This video that I'm going to send you and I'm going to show you, this is one ton. And we have the buyer from Saudi Arabia. He took 100 kilo. Okay. He paid cash. He paid cash. We give him 8% and he has no problem. The real buyer doesn't talk too much. Only fake buyer talk too much. The brokers. The yeah. brokers, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm very pleased that you come. You've been following me since last year. My gosh. My gosh. I'm Solima. so happy that I finally talked to you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So so um you've been following my uh, my Facebook, are you? Yes, please. What did you learn out of my Facebook and the video that I put all the full corporate offer? Tell me what did you learn out of that? Okay. Most of the time I have been listening to your videos and from the videos that I have been listening to, it was like one thing that I always keep in mind is you said gold is never for credit. It is money. It is money. So if you don't, you can't go to somewhere and you want it for credit. That is one valuable lesson that I have learned from you. And it's true. Really? Is and that, it's true. Is that, yes. is that your house, uh, Solimana? Is that your house? Yeah, it's for my parents. Oh, is that your parents? What you do for a living in Ghana, by the way? What is your profession in Ghana? I'm a software engineer. I'm a software engineer. You are a software engineer. Wow. What yeah. an intelligent African lady. You're so beautiful. You're pretty. <laughs> Thank oh, you. Gosh. Thank you, Ray. You're a software engineer. You are very talented. And why did you want to learn into gold business? Why? Um, for the past years, since I completed high school, because of the incidents of like people getting duped and all that, because there, were, there, there came a time that I wanted to use my, my little income I had for gold business, like buy a little and then go and sell it outside until I realized that that game is very dangerous and then very I just tricky. Very dropped. tricky, yes, very yeah, tricky. Yeah, it's very, very tricky. So I just dropped out of it and I was like, okay, then let me use my little income to start something little. Mm -hmm. And so why you decided yeah. to come to Wilhelmina then? Yeah, it's because I've been, I've been following your video and you are my fellow woman and like you empower me. Mm. You empower me. Wow, thank you very much. You will learn a you lot. Empower. You will learn a lot from this lady. I'll give you my background. Okay? I've been in sales for 36 years. I was in real estate and I was top salesperson. Someone from your country found me in the beginning okay. 2010 okay. someone from ghana he saw my profile because i was in real okay. estate he begged me okay. to come to your country he begged me and when i arrived in your country i fall in love mm -hmm. yes i fall in love in your country the people are very friendly and beautiful i like accra sure and I went to yeah. the village, I went to the mines, and I saw the people. And okay. my heart was bleeding when I saw a little girl sleeping on the leaves of cocoa tree in Cobreso. And, oh. and the parents mining gold in the mines, husband and wife. And the little girl was really hungry. She's really very pretty girl. Very, very pretty. I fall in love with that little girl. And I cuddled that girl. I get the bread and I soak it in coke. And she was looking at me. She was hungry. I said to this little girl, I think uh, she was um, two years old on the time. I said to this okay. girl, I will come back and I will find you. Take good care. Then I'll talk to her parents.
I said to her parents, how come your eight years old didn't go to school? school. Uh, madam, uh, my master, my, my seller, didn't pay us very good. They have been paid only $50 a month. Mm. I really get angry. I really did get angry. I saw how the mud wash with the dust gold yeah. and then it smelt into bar. I will show you my video that when I was in Cobreza. I will send it to you later okay. on. And that girl um, always on my mind. She's a very pretty Ghanaian little girl. Very, very, very pretty. I said, oh my gosh, this little girl. She's beautiful. Mm. Until yeah. now, I always remember, I recall her, that I cuddled her. Yeah, because I don't have any kids. We don't have. We don't have any okay. children. Mm. So that is how the seller of mine found me. Online. Okay. He found me online okay. through my website. Mm -hmm. Then I left real estate. I focus on gold and rough diamond. I handle Conakry Guinea, Bamako Mali, uh, Sierra Leone, uh -huh. but because okay. there is no gold in Ghana, I wouldn't be able to help the buyer. I wouldn't. Okay. There is no gold at all. So I will take your buyer to Conakry, Guinea. You can fly together okay. with the buyer. I don't mind. I will introduce you. Okay. Just send me your passport and then I will arrange your landing visa. Because when I travel okay. with the buyer, I charge my extra service. I do charge my air firm, my hotel numbers, and spending money. Yes. Oh, okay. To supervise the buyer. But when he paid the gold, sure. it would be deducted. It would be minus from, from his payment. Yes. We can give the buyer 10%. Okay. There's no problem. Less 10%. 10 percent for how many kilos? Per kilo. Now, we have tons of gold. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, we okay. give him... We give him uh, whatever whatever the world market price. We give him ten percent because it is a long term. It is a long term, so we have to sign a contract. I need your buyer passport copy so that I could arrange his landing visa from Ghana to Conakry. It's only a five hours drive I, by plane, is it? Um, I don't know how many hours from Ghana to Conakry. I've never been there before. It's only uh, I think five hours. Hmm, Conakry. Okay. You can you can okay. accompany your buyer because your buyer is stuck and uh, he knows you. I'll just arrange your okay. your landing visa. Mm -hmm. I don't have all any right. problem at all. I will send you the video, okay. show it to your buyer that there is a gold in uh, in Conakry, Guinea. You spoke to Wilhelmina Ford. I am the extension office here in Australia. I am the one who will okay. interview your buyer. And I'm the one okay. who will arrange his landing visa to my head office. Then my head office will welcome you. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to upload our conversation on YouTube okay. so that people will see. I will upload it. Oh, well, Mina, <laughs> if you upload it yes. and people see it. So that people in my country, like who are into this kind of stuff, if they see me, wow. It doesn't it's going matter. To be else. It helps your country. It helps your country's image because you help that foreigner. You help the foreigner not to be duped. That foreigner has 1.6 million. You are helping him. You are helping him. So you're going to remove the bad image of your country. Right. So you are helping. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. You are the ambassador of your country. You are a professional. You are well educated. You are acting as an ambassador, business ambassador of your people. That this, uh, um, your fellow Ghanaian trying to deceive this foreigner so you you're gonna be popular you will be a popular because you are a very honest lady you've been following me since last year and you decided to come today today is november 29 yes uh -huh. so everybody will loves you because you're helping your country you got my point yes mother uh -huh. so 
I will give you a copy of our conversation as well. And I'm going to send you the video that we have tons of gold. All right. You show it to your buyer. Mr. Buyer, this is the tons of gold. I will take you to Conakry, Guinea. Let's talk to Mrs. Ford. Mrs. Ford, you have to tell him who am I. Mrs. Ford is the extension office based in Australia. I am international marketing consultant and mandate of the seller. I would know which seller available stock. But your buyer, I'm going to put your buyer in Conakry, Guinea. You got my point? Okay, madam. Any question? No, please. Are you sure? You are yeah. you sure you understand what I'm saying? I do understand everything. I do understand every single thing. You are too smart lady. I admire you. Be a, be a good you. ambassador of your country. Thank you for coming. That you relate okay. the situations of the foreigner. I am a foreigner. I don't like people to be duped. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. sure. So sure. I'm going to upload this and you're going to be popular. <laughs> you, Thank you, you very you, much. You, you're gonna be on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> All right, Miss Elmina. Thank you very much. How old are you? How old are you? Twenty-five. Oh, you're so you're you're too young, and you're beautiful. You're a beautiful Thank Ghanaian you. lady. Mm -hmm. See, Thank you're, you. you're a, you're a computer IT, right? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Wow, wonderful, wonderful. Anyway, nice talking to you, and I'm and I'm gonna have a cup okay. of coffee. What time is it now in Ghana? Um, it is six minutes past ten a.m. Here is uh, eight o'clock in the evening. It's Thursday. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Thursday evening, November um, twenty-nine. Okay. All right. So nice talking to you, my All dear. Right. And uh, Same here. and uh, I will. You will see. You will see this video. The purpose, right. the purpose that I'm going to upload this so that the buyer, the potential buyer, would be aware that gold is not cheap. Gold is yeah. not banana. And gold is not yeah. bread. Most of the foreigners come to Africa, they are crooks. They are gold launderers. They are thieves. That is why Ghana government stopped a small miner because the small miner was manipulated by a foreigner. Sure. Ghana lost nine million a year. I read it in the newspaper. That is the reason why foreigners cannot get gold. I and there was yeah. Go this ahead. buyer. There was this buyer. I I, I once met. That was beginning of this. Um, he was a seller rather. He's a, he's a local seller from Ghana here. Mm -hmm. Um, do you know that some Mexicans came around? Lured him, paid his tax. Yes, Mexicans. What is his he name? Came around, the Mexican. Him. Um, the Mexican. I don't know his name. I never met him. Yeah. They lured him, and he took um ten kilos, mm -hmm. ten kilos with them to Mexico. They paid the taxes and everything. Do you know that he came back with nothing? They didn't pay the money. Okay, may I? I'll tell you. When I came, when I went to Ghana, I arrived the day before. I took a Mexican buyer called. Eric Blasco and Mr. Marin. He signed a contract and okay. during the time the gold was fifty five thousand per kilo. During the time okay. fifty kilos and my seller hired the armor car from the village to Accra and my seller paid okay. five thousand dollars to hire the armor car to escort because that is twenty four million dollars. Okay. Okay. So what happened? We took the gold to ER logistics. A refinery. ER logistics okay. is good. I vouch that because I'm satisfied. So the 50 kilo was okay. brought into ER logistics. The buyer has no okay. money. He cannot afford to pay to ASI the gold. In Ghana, today, to ASI is $100 per kilo. Mm -hmm. So there was a commotion. So we took the 5 kilos out of the metal box mm -hmm. to ASI the gold. Okay. So the buyer is happy and the seller. We went to the boardroom, the restaurant, the hotel. Both buyers and seller screwed me. Wow. Yes. Eric Blasco screwed me. So, because I'm very close to the old man, I bombarded 
email to the main owner and I told the main owner, how dare you? You invite me, you paid everything. And because he was being manipulated by David Anim, the half brother, Eric Blast okay. wanted the Gopi Tikilus to bring it to Mexico, no payment. Wow. Yes. So I told the old man, I am in your country. Eric Blasco is a criminal. And when the gold arrived in Mexico, either you will be murdered or you will never see your 24 million. See your money. Mm -hmm. So the old man decided not to ship the gold. So I did save it. Yes. So since then, I exposed Eric Blasco on YouTube. Yes. So going back to that wow. uh, Mexican buyer, what happened to the seller of his 10 kilos? He went, he, so he took the 10 kilos with him to Mexico and he came back without a penny. Really? Neither his money, neither his goods. Nothing really? came down. Wow, what is the name of that? Uh, my gosh. Uh, Mr. Edu Chenfi, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's also from Dunquao. Wow. Offense to don't call. Why, why he went to Mexico without any knowing the buyer? Why? Um, you know, he. I think the buyer came here. He met him here. And I think they established some kind of trust. Yeah. He paid his taxes and everything. They established some kind of trust. Because without trust, someone wouldn't follow you with his 10 kilos. So they established some trust. Then the Mexican pay, paid for the taxes and everything. Then they exported it there. Then he never came back with his neither his goods really? nor his money. And in our policy, Solimana, we don't ask the buyer to pay taxes. He has to pay the gold because our price is tax inclusive. The buyer would not okay. pay taxes. We taste the gold first. He has to place an order. He has to send a letter of intent to buy. He has to introduce okay. himself, his company name, address, telephone number. The destination, and we want to see the proof of fund, his bank statement, that really he has the money. So when I see it, then I will I will advise my head office to proceed the contract, to proceed the okay. order. So if the buyer, your buyer will say, okay, we want to start 20 kilos, yeah, we will list, I will reserve the 20 kilos. You start first 20 kilos, then you increase it, then. The buyer and the seller has to establish business relationship. He has to, because we are going to supply a long term, not a short term. <clears throat> so when we see that the buyer is really, really real buyer, we might be able to give him a little bit of flexibility. But he has to build okay. his trust with us. He has to. Sure. <clears throat> sure. So now, I understand your... Um, your frustration as well. Mm. Yeah. Last year, my seller, my seller's friend in Conakry, Guinea, he went to okay. Dubai as well. Mr. CDB okay. was murdered. Wow. Yes. Mr. CDB was murdered in Dubai where he was being poisoned by Indian Pakistani out of 48 kilos. So what happened, Mr. CDB? He, he, the buyer, the Indian buyer, Indian buyers are notorious buyer. They are very manipulated. So he, he went to, the buyer went to Conakry, Guinea, and he promised that, oh, we'll sign a contract, etc., etc. So that seller, he fly together with the buyer. And he was being entertained, a very good entertainment. We have a good dinner. That buyer has a motive to kill the seller. He put poison Jesus. in his drink. He put poison in his drink, and the buyer, the seller, died, and the buyer ran away. So the police saw that the passport from Guinea, then the, the government of Dubai, he called the embassy of uh, Conakry, Guinea, that one of their people died in, in Dubai. Yes? Oh. Yes? Mm. So sad. And also David Ani missing in Russia. Mm. A Ghanaian wow. who screwed me. Mm. So I'm very, very wow. tough. You need to learn from my toughness. 
you need to learn. If you are sure. gonna be involved in this gold business, you need to be tough, okay? Don't back out to this bullshit people. Mm -hmm. My language is not very good if I get angry. It's not very good. I don't buy bullshit. Mm -hmm. That is the reason why I'm gonna interview the buyer live video call. I want to see, I okay. want to study the behavior of that particular buyer. So now you learn from me. Okay. You learn from me now. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll so be glad to. I've empowered you. We are women. We need to be strong. We need to help one another. We sure. need to help the seller because the seller have no idea. They have the production, yeah. but they don't know how to position themselves. I am here outside Africa. I am not African. I am Australian. I'm Australian, but I was born in the Philippines. Yeah. I'm not African, but I'm okay. very, very strict. I need to be cruel to be loved. There's a saying, the parable in yeah. business. In business, there is no friendship. There is none. Show me the money, we can show you the gold. If you have the money, you can yeah. be the supply. You got my point now? Sure, I do. Mm -hmm. That's good. So you learn from University of Hard Knocks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Any, 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 um, anything you want to ask me? No, I'm okay. All right. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, Selena. Okay, we'll catch up. All, All right. right. I will send you the video. Okay, Miss Selena. Okay, I'll, send you the video okay, I'll be expected. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Put thank your, you too. Put bye. your email on your on on Skype so that I I'm gonna have right. my your your file. All right, and have okay. a nice place and good uh, good morning. Have your lunch in Ghana, and I'm gonna have my okay. Cup. Thank I'm you. I'm gonna have my cup of coffee here in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then, Miss Olivia. All right, thank you. Good Take care. Bye.